West Bengal continues to simmer as incidents of violence and arson see no end over the controversial Citizenship Amendment Act. In a latest incident, the protesters set alight a static train at Krishnapur railway station in Murshidabad last evening. Several buses were also torched in Havra. This despite Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee's appeal to protesters not to indulge in violence and arson. While the state continues to remain on edge, a political war has also erupted. The BJP has blamed Mamta for the violence, accusing her and the TMC of provoking people. Hitting back, the TMC has termed the arsonists as the friends of Home Minister Amit Shah. Meanwhile, TMC MP Derek O'Brien slammed the governor, accusing him of making provocative statements. This after the governor asked Bengal government to act against the miscreants and extended support to the Citizenship Act. Mamata Banerjee has taught this how to throw a stone. If she does that, who will appeal to her? And Mamata Banerjee, these people have been doing a big deal. One day, when they didn't have a voter, in 2005, they had a big deal in the people of the people of the people of the people. कि ये बंगाल के लिए डिजास्टर है आज कौन सा ऐसा परिवर्तन हो गया कि आज इनको बचाने के लिए लगी हुई है क्योंकि वोट बैंक की राजनीति है ममता बनर्जी के वोट से जीत आती है आई डू नॉट थिंक दैट बंगाल इज बर्निंग देयर हैव बीन सम इंसिडेंट्स आवर चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज ऑलरेडी अपील फॉर पीस आई थिंक पीस विल कम इन अ शॉर्ट टाइम सेटिंग फायर टू टायर्स इज नथिंग बिग सम इंसिडेंट्स हैव टेकन प्लेस इज नथिंग कंपेयर्ड टू असम नो Police firing has taken place as in Assam. Chief Minister has appealed for peace, I think, in a day or two. Things will be peaceful. She has appealed for peaceful protests. Jo Admi Kanun Apne Hat Me Lere, Wo Amit Shaka Dost Bandre, BJP Ko Sahayata Karne, Mamta Banerjee Barbari Aswasan Deriya, Jo Bangal Me Citizen Amendment Bill or NRC Chalu Nehiho. उसके बाद भी जो ये बढ़ावा दे रहे हैं, वो बीजेपी का दलाल लोग, भारत के संविधान के ऊपर अटैक हुआ, भारत बासी हो के इसका पॉलिटिकल और सोशली और कानूनन हमें इसका विरोध करना है। my colleague Indrajit Kundu now joins us live from Kolkata. Indrajit, the TMC MPs are saying Bengal is not burning. Give us a sense of have things calmed down today or is it as bad as it was in the past few days, especially creating all the problems for the locals in the state? Well, Radhika, as far as the uh, entire state is concerned, there has been sporadic incidents of violence, but uh, you know the violence has mostly remained contained in two specific districts, the Murshidabad and Howrah district. We've seen over the past two days how uh, violent incidents of arson as well as clashes with police took place both in Howrah as well as in Murshidabad district. Last night in Murshidabad district at Krishnapur station near Lalgola, five trains were set on fire. Uh, two railway stations have been vandalized in Murshidabad over the past 48 hours. In Howrah, we've seen how uh, you know protesters clashed with police. There were incidents of stone pelting. The Ulubedia station was vandalized. The Shakrail station was vandalized. And also protesters blocked the National Highway 117, throwing traffic out of gear. We've seen protests happening in other districts as well, in North 24 Pargana, in South 24 Pargana, in Hooghly, in Arambagh. However, they have not uh, you know been so violent as we've seen in Howrah and Murshidabad. So clearly, uh, these two districts have been the epicenter of the protest at this point in time, forcing the administration to, in a sense, take note. Uh, now, the West Bengal government, the chief minister herself, in a video message, in a appeal for calm. However, what we are seeing unfolding is uh, a fresh round of politics on this entire agitation, because there have been protests in Kolkata as well, but they have been absolutely peaceful. The BJP has, has alleged that Mamta Banerjee is giving a free hand to all Muslim organizations to come out and vent their anger on the streets, uh, and therefore they have squarely blamed the administrator administration for failure of law and order and administration administration. Uh, even West Bengal governor has uh, reminded the chief minister of her, uh, of her sworn duty uh, at a time when the Trinamool Congress believes that there could be some, uh, you know, uh, untoward elements which are provoking and fueling such protests uh, to uh, spill out or spill over into West Bengal on the streets. Indrajit, they're uh, getting us an update of what the situation like is in Bengal. Indrajit, thank you for joining us with all those details. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.